Okay, we're looking at your Radicals number three worksheet that's assigned for today. This is Friday, and I'm looking at problem two on it, and I'd like to just go through and um, show my work shown, show how I expected this to be done. Um, the first thing that you'll do is, of course, use the product rule. The square root of 250 times y to the fifth is the same thing as the square root of 250, the square root of y to the Fifth. Now, I'm looking for a perfect square factor of 250. So I'm thinking about my list of perfect squares. One that comes to mind is 25. Okay, 250 is not on the list here as a perfect square, so we'll start with just 25. Square root of 25 times 10, or the square root of 25 times the square root of 10. The square root of 25 is 5, so I've got 5 root 10. Now I've neglected the y to the fifth. This was a question many of you had the last couple days is, well, how do I deal with this when this is an odd number? And the answer is, let me change colors here. I'm taking care of this part of the problem. The square root of y to the fourth times y. The square root of y to the fourth times the square root of y. Because when this exponent is even, the square root is essentially taking this to a one-half power. So I could divide by two. The square root of y to the fourth is y squared. And I still have this square root y. Now, I'm not quite done. I need to um, basically reorder my terms. The coefficient comes first, 5. And then the variable parts not including a radical symbol, so I'll write 5y squared. And then we start with the radicals. The square root of 10 times the square root of y, but since those are both the square roots, I can combine them and I can say 5y squared times the square root of 10y. This is my final answer, what I'm looking for.